Hello, guys. So, today, I have decided that I am going to have lunch with my lovely friends today. Hi, guys. So, I got me some pizza. Hopefully, you're having something good to eat as well right now. Um, and I'm wearing this dress today. I just got back from visiting my brother. We went to this Mexican place, which was really good. So, there's that. That, yeah, that was very tasty. So, yeah, now I'm here with all of you, and uh, it's just a breath of fresh air, you know? Just being here with you. Just me and you, together. Yes. Now, would you like a drink? I thought so. Um, what kind of drink do you want? Mm, yes, yes. I gotta put it. Just wait, I'm gonna drink, get a drink for both of us. Uh, your server waits. Here you go. A nice drink for you. The drink that you wanted. Tailor made for you. Tailor made for you. Yes. I love this mug that I have. I stole it from my sister, but <laughs> it's fine. She's not home right now, but this is like Rowlet from Pokemon. It looks so cute. Yes. And I just got this pizza hut pizza. Yesterday night, my family got it, and it's very tasty. This is was actually the last slice in the box, so I got lucky there. See? As good as ever. As good as ever. I... <laughs> I decided to put on this ring today. Actually, I think tea about it was that my brother, one of my brothers, my older brother, I think, because I have so many siblings, but yeah. Basically, I think my older brother, he got this ring, I think, for his college girlfriend or something, and then she rejected him, <laughs> which is very sad, you know? But now I'm wearing it, so <laughs> it was in, like, this one coin jar or something and i'm pretty sure my mom told me the whole lore behind it but you know my mom's a little dramatic like that but it okay it okay <laughs> i'm a little dramatic too but i just i usually don't like getting into people's business but i mean if i hear it then like <laughs> i don't know it's not like i'm gonna like share stuff or like openly like try to be dramatic but you know, if, if someone's spilling a little tea, then you know what I'm saying. That's so great. But yeah. I really just wanted to give you a pep talk real quick for a second. So basically, whoever is hurting you, if anyone is hurting you, if anything is hurting you, then I'm going to beat them up, okay? Like, punch, punch action, like, let's go. Because you are one of the greatest people ever. And, you know, I never want you to be hurt like that. And you don't deserve any sort of bad treatment. You don't deserve to be having a miserable time. You don't deserve anything bad that has happened to you. You deserve to have a good life. You deserve to have good experiences. You deserve to be around positive people. You deserve great experiences. And I just wanted to give you a reminder of that because I feel like a lot of people forget that important piece. And Instead, they wound up in situations where they feel miserable or they're with friends who don't value them because, like, they just think, 
oh, well, kind of brushed to the side. You know, I've done it before, for sure, where I've just brushed things to the side, but you really shouldn't brush things to the side when it comes to your own happiness. And just know that you deserve more than your bad situations. You deserve more than those toxic people who have tried to put you down. And I'll say that. You know, I feel like we put a lot of power into other people's opinions and stuff like that. Like, with me, I sometimes put other people's opinions on a pedestal. And I think that if someone tells me something that is 100% true, and then I start questioning myself and my own thought process through it. Because I just think, oh, everyone else is right. I'm wrong. Or something. Even though I'm just like, girl... Your own opinion matters, too. It probably matters even more than some other people's opinion. Because, let's be honest, like, not, no one really knows us like we know ourselves. Like, sure, it's good to get feedback from other people. But at the same time, it's just like, we no actually know ourselves. We know what's best for us. And when it comes to certain decisions, like, as long as it's a healthy decision, then, like, why, why not, you know? Like, if it's not gonna harm you, then why not just make your own decision, you know? Or, or if someone tells you, like, oh, you're, like, this weird like person or, or like your interests are weird or you don't look good or something like that you're just like fuck you honestly like fuck you because here's the thing is that we can't define people by stereotypes and all that shit because i don't know i i had this one friend who basically he he used well he knew that i used to do band in high school and stuff like that and he did band too and basically he kept on saying like oh you're like a band kid and all this shit and I feel like it was kind of in an insulting way because I would say well you were in band too like so technically you were a band kid I didn't mean like the stereotype band kid I just meant like oh like you're you know you were in band, so technically you're a band kid. And then he, like, kind of deflects that and then says, like, I'm a band kid and stuff like that, kind of in a degrading way. And <laughs> it's just like, dude, like, I never really subjected you to any sort of stereotype, so I don't understand why you're trying to insult me and trying to label things on me when you really don't know my own experiences. And also, he would claim to say oh i know all about your emotional processes and all this shit and would try to say oh you've never been in love you're too young even though it just like he was literally only a year older than me but we're not gonna talk about that so. <laughs> like it's just like oh my god like do not let other people tell you what you are and what your experiences are because it's just like dude like you, you've never been inside my emotional body. You have never witnessed what it's like to be me. You can't tell me that I'm a certain way when you barely even know me. And you can't, you certainly, no one can certainly, like, tell me what my emotional experience is because no one is ever going to feel my emotional experience. So you can never know. Only I know. Only I know. Like, trust me, I'm pretty self-aware of my emotional experience and can be honest about it and when I actually feel something greatly I am actually feeling it it's not like a fucking joke that you could just be like oh well it's not real really it's just like you perceiving it in that kind of way it's just like dude if it's real to me then it's okay <laughs> like let, let's stop with the games let's stop with the games <sighs> I'm very sorry. I'm. I just feel angry when it comes to that. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm not that great at being, um, you know, uh, motivational because 
I'm usually a negative person. But, like I said, you do you, and you don't let anyone try to define your own emotional experience because, again, like a lot of people say, your emotions are valid, and you're really the only one who knows what you're feeling, and no one else can tell you how you are feeling. That's on that. Let's sip some cola. I literally, like, poured um, a can of cherry cola <laughs> into this drink because I wanted, you know, the aesthetic of the cups and all, and, you know, I, I really hope you're enjoying your drink, you know? Does it taste good? Great, I didn't poison. Yeah, that's <laughs> 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Or I didn't, like, put dishwash soap, didn't accidentally have dishwash soap in your drink. That's great. Um, <laughs> because sometimes, you know, we, I, oh, sorry. Like, there's that taste of dishwash soap in the soda and then or the drink or whatever and then it tastes so horrible that you have to like pour it in the sink and grab a new drink and it's just like no 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 not for my friend like friend you deserve the best that's it that's it and you know actually there's this one concept that i've been kind of tossing around and you know I get like kind of self-improvement and how like oh well you are here right now and sure you're good but you want to get to here and this is like a higher version and it takes a journey to get it well here's the thing though People can feel unmotivated because they feel like, oh, well, I'm not this person yet. So, like, I feel like I'll never be because I'm just this person. And, you know, it's just like, if you, here's the thing. I think we should shift the mindset from, you know, gradually trying to get there, which I get it, you know. It takes smaller habits in order to get where you want to be. But at the same time, I feel like we should act as if we already are that person. We should be like, yes, I am confident. Yes, I am. I do have this certain job. Yes, I, I am. Like, I am this accepting, lovable human being. Because you are, you are, okay? You are. Like, it's it's already in you. You don't understand, like, everything that you want to be is already in you. So you already are what you want to be. If you get what I mean. <coughs> if you get what I mean, I think that rhymed. I don't know. I don't know. It just sounds kind of catchy, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, like, you already are who you want to be, there's a piece inside you right now that is who you want to be. And you just gotta tap into that. You have to ask yourself, why do I not feel like showing this side of myself? Why am I scared to show this side of myself? And how can I break free of those fears and be able to express myself in the way that I want? In the way that best serves me. You know? Just have to ask the important questions of what what exactly is holding you back? What is the root cause? I I saw this one YouTuber. She has a really cool channel. She does like talking videos kind of like me. And I think it's called Bee's Corner or something. But she's really good at making videos about basically just talking about certain subjects having to do with like um you know 
self-confidence, just self-improvement and stuff like that. And she basically said, like, you have to get to the root cause of why you find it so difficult to start a certain habit or something. Or to become a certain type of person or to overcome a certain fear. And I, I found that to be really smart and I just... It, it makes me feel more empowered because it's a different way of looking at things that I didn't really think of before. Like, instead of thinking, like, oh, I have to change all of this, instead, you should sit down with yourself for first and think, what is the root cause of why I'm not, you know, tapping into what I am, what I'm meant to be? Like, why is this part of me being hidden? Why is, am I not letting this part of me come up? You know, that's the main thing. So yeah, I recommend Bee's Corner for a lot of self-improvement stuff because she's very authentic and all that stuff. And I just find her channel really cool. Yes. Ugh. It's refreshing. Anyway, that was my little pep talk. I really hope that you got something from that. <laughs> At least, maybe. I don't know. But I don't know. I'm just spitting some information out there you I'm, I'm not trying to be controlling and trying to make you take this advice but it's good advice that i've heard from other people anyway yeah yeah um i don't know today was pretty good i actually decided to get out of my old social anxiety ways and texted my friends because one of my other friends encouraged me to do it. So I did and I felt really good about that. You know, like, do you ever just feel so good? Like, you know, um, for example, like with me and you, it feels so nice to be able to interact with you and to be able to just, I don't know, like, be with you and all that stuff and spend some quality time listening and I'm petting your hand. <laughs> okay. It's just like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why that's so funny. I literally like, spit some of my beans so Spit on the. My bed. It's fine. I'll clean it up in a bit. But yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the unfiltered side of what it's like filming this. Any I'm so I'm sorry I'm sorry but yeah <sighs> what were we talking about? Oh yeah yeah about um being happy that I texted my other friends so yeah it was just really nice being able to text my friends from college because I just really liked being able to see how they were doing and all that jazz and being able to cheer them up if they were, you know, feeling sad about something or anything like that. I really like checking up on my friends, so I, I need to ask, how are you? How are you doing? How is life going? I hope it's going well. I hope that, you know, everything's settling in. 
everything will settle in at some point, you know, like, even if it feels rough right now, just know that there, you know, there is a glimpse of hope in every day. There is a glimpse of something bigger, something more exciting that's on the horizon. You just gotta let life pan out because life isn't stagnant, which is great. You know, it might feel stagnant at some points. It may feel stagnant for a while, but it's never truly, like, fully stagnant. Everything is always changing. I kind of learned this in a philosophy class, kind of like how all the atoms are changing around us and stuff like that. <laughs> like, look. It's like that Buddhism, like, um, Buddhist, um, view of, like, nothing is permanent or something like that. Like, that principle. And, yeah, it's that sort of thing where, basically, nothing is permanent, which is a good and a bad thing. Because death, bad positive change <laughs> the two winds of the pet spectrum the spectrum of life the spectrum of everything kind of <clears throat> there's there's a lot of spectrums but yeah um but anyway i'm really glad i got to have lunch with you today and we should, I hope we get to hang out again sometime, you know? I hope that we could, like, just chill like this again at some point. Maybe. If you want. I mean, if you want. If you want. I'm not pressuring, but it's been a lot of fun with you. And I hope that you have a really good rest of your day or night or whatever you're doing right now. And I hope that everything pans out all right. Just know that you are going to be okay and that you are amazing. Well, it's nice. Gensia. And. Oh. See you next time. Goodbye, friend. I will see you later. Ooh.